St. Louis City Treasurer Tashara Jones is recovering from surgery after doctors found multiple fibroids in her uterus. Fox 2's Zara Barker talked with her today. Now, Zara, Tashara Jones says she now has a message for other black women. What is that? Yeah, she does. And Jones says she hopes that by telling her story, it will help other women living with fibroids get help sooner. You're living with them and you just never know. Uh, so I want to make sure that people are aware that this is not normal um, and they should talk to their provider and hopefully me going with public with my story will help someone. After St. Louis City Treasurer Tashara Jones gave birth to her son 13 years ago, she started having heavy periods but didn't think too much about it. I just chalked it up to part of being a woman um, and didn't think that it anything was wrong until uh, my blood test started coming back as being borderline anemic. And then um, after a discussion with my uh, OBGYN, she said, well, let's let's send you for an ultrasound and make sure that everything's OK. That's when she found out something wasn't right. As I was uh, on the table in, in the ultrasound uh, tech's office, um, she, she started marking off these little round things. The little round things turned out to be fibroids, and there were four of them. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop in the uterus, and sometimes people don't show any symptoms. Her surgery was scheduled for April, but COVID-19 pushed it back to yesterday. Jones says when doing her research about fibroids, she found out that black women are more susceptible to the growths. Maybe it could be our diet. Maybe it could be stress. You know, black women tend to take on a lot of stress, uh, taking care of ourselves, taking care of our families. Uh, being the primary breadwinner in most of our families, being single moms. Black women are two to three times more likely to have fibroids than white women. That's according to Black Women's Health Imperative. The Mayo Clinic says black women are more likely to have fibroids at a younger age and experience more severe symptoms. And Jones is seeking re-election for a third time on that August 4th ballot. Now, she told me she plans to be back on the campaign trail early next week and that recovery so far is going well. Live in the Central West End, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News. Thanks.